Okay, today I'm going to be playing some Wolfenstein 3D, but not just Wolfenstein 3D. This is Spear of Destiny. As, uh, from what I understand, this is the prequel to the original Wolfenstein. But I'm going to skip over the first mission because, well, I already did Wolfenstein earlier. So we're going to go ahead to number two, Return to Danger, and you'll see why. All right, one thing you already notice is that the design looks way different from the original. As you can see, with the dogs and the gun. Yeah. So it's essentially just doing Wolfenstein 3D with uh, different looking uh, sprites. But by day's end, it's still essentially the same game. So what I'm getting at is, if I were to take a wall, paint it with one coat of paint, okay, it's still a paint wall, but what if I were to take a different color of paint and put it on the same wall? Because by the end of the day, it's still a wall with a different color coat of paint, just like this game. At the end of the day, it's still Wolfenstein 3D, but just with different sprites. Contrary to saying that it's Return to Danger. Now what's really interesting about this game is that nobody uh nobody's heard of this game until recently when uh Steam re-released it. The only major difference is now is that instead of uh, stopping Adolf Hitler from taking over the world, what you're looking for in these games is the titular Spear of Destiny, the spear that was to spear Jesus during his crucifixion oh, no. in Golgotha. Oh. I mean, this game isn't terrible, but, but like I say, like I said before, I've already played Wolfenstein 3D, then I'm pretty sure. You know how this game works. You see, I'm almost already dead. From one visual standpoint, I can appreciate that they went in a different direction, but I would have felt that if they stuck with the original uh, sprites, then I probably would have appreciated this game a little bit more. And of course, just like Wolfenstein 3D, you get the classic uh, running around like a rat in a rat maze. You have no idea where you're gonna go or where you're gonna end up next. Now I can easily look up a map on my phone right now, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, one thing I don't quite get is, um, in the original Wolf you're collecting treasure. I mean, you just saw just now, I picked up an urn, and what perceived to me looked like a, uh, like a bomb of some kind. And I think I also picked up, uh, I believe it was BC4. And I'm guessing these are dead rats. Oh, and I'm also picking up radios also. Boy. I don't know what to say. I mean, I mean the Nazis really valued this yeah, yeah. stuff. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Tod! Aber was? Er ja! Tod! Aber was? Five minutes in the first level, didn't get him to get 100% on anything. But that's okay. That's not what DOS Vlog is about. I'm not here to complete the game. I'm not here to get 100% on everything. This is just me sharing with you guys my experience with this game. Now, unlike Wolfenstein 3D, which I did play a lot when I was younger, this one I only played maybe gosh, like a couple of years ago. Yeah, because I never heard of this game until, uh, Guys with the submachine guns. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much Case in point. Of course, this is back when uh, first person shooters for DOS didn't have the aim up, aim down, all that fun stuff that we have in shooters today. So did you see that movie? Oh wait, I'll talk about that movie later. Let's get this guy. Eh, too late. Okay, so that's the key I needed that that I got killed just a few moments ago. to have a high sense of awareness. Mommy! Oh. I mean, you can just sit still in a room and uh, they'll immediately go into high alert mode. And of course, uh, Solid Snake of BJ Blazkowicz is not. about killing these dogs but on the second but on the other hand uh, if these dogs were to uh are hunting you down here yeah you gotta fight back yeah, yeah. Oh. 
track here. this game and the original is, where exactly am I? I mean, some are speculating that I'm outside and some are speculating that I'm inside. Just because the uh, ceiling is a solid color instead of a uh, pattern. And plus, if that's the case, if I'm outside, then how exactly are those lights suspended? Well, I'm not gonna go into that. kind of funny is that one bullet somehow sends all the guards into a frenzy. Like, are they all linked or something? If that's the case, then, uh, Max should have gotten a hold of Pax of Battle. Who is the main antagonist in fear? All of them working together would be just downright disturbing, to say the least. Splice the audio from that and just put it on the ball day and not get tired of hearing it. Ninja. Ninja. What's even more bizarre is that how do they know where you're at? Of course, I'm probably sure they're just programmed to react that way, but still, it's worth thinking about.
me! Oh, ow, that's good to me! Oh. Hello? Ooh, looks like a <clears throat> looks like something came out of those cages. I just don't know what. Of course, I gotta go take this long route just so I can get out. Lovely. Something tells me that these guards are nearsighted because I took a few steps back and they just kept coming towards me while I was firing at them. But if those guards were smart, they would have just stayed right there and just shot me from a distance. I know the enemies in Doom actually can shoot me from much farther away. Shot me from a little bit farther away. Like I said before, you just have to feel bad shooting those dogs because those death sounds are just way too sympathetic. Oh, hello. What do we have here? I have never. Well, I should never. I've seen this before. Uh, I think right there. Classic cliche brought into the uh, world of 3D shooters. You open the door only to reveal a dead end. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Looney Tunes Hulk, they want that concept back. Thanks. That's one thing I absolutely hate. It's overused cliches. The door's opening to reveal a dead end is one of them.
Fish. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what's in this stupid thing right there. Gotta be a little patient. Let them come to you. That line right there is super annoying to deal with. And I'm not entirely sure how to get rid of it. This generous. I just love games that have a 
there's one secret where you walk down a long corridor and all of a sudden, oh, you see everything right in front of you. From ammo to treasures, or even an extra life. Can't go wrong there. But unfortunately, uh... was on the way out there, but unfortunately, maybe I was just too oblivious to see it. Hmm. But on a positive scale, at least I'm still alive. I think we all get the message here. Um, so that's uh, Spear of Destiny. Um, it's something worth checking out if you uh, got a few dollars to spare. I would suggest checking it out. Anyways, um, that does it for this edition of DOS Vlog. And I will see everybody next time.